I am here in Hawaii uh, because your safety is more important to me than anything. And being here is the most important thing that I can be doing. All right, now back to that other top story, the water woes on Oahu. The U.S. Secretary of the Navy in the islands, you just heard from him, to address the water contamination crisis at Red Hill. Carlos del Toro joined several naval commanding officers at a packed town hall this afternoon. Discussions lasted for hours. And as KITV4's Aaron Coogan reports, residents are still feeling the repercussions of the contamination crisis. Motions ran high at Sunday evening's public forum. I'm here to ask why you weren't a wingman to protect my 13-month-old son that I was bathing him when I was giving him a sippy cup full of water from my faucet. I dare say that you murdered my dog, but causation is not correlation, so I am left to speculate. Among the dozens of residents who attended the in-person meeting, expectant mothers, active duty members, and concerned spouses. Their demand was a simple one, a call for naval accountability and transparency to which residents say have not been met throughout this crisis. We got it. Things happen. But the answer that you guys gave us, it was ridiculous. The answer that you continue on giving us is ridiculous. U.S. Secretary of the Navy Carlos del Toro assuring those that their concerns are not only being heard, but utilized to initiate action at both the state and federal levels. I reaffirm my commitment as your Secretary of the Navy, speaking on behalf of the Secretary of the Department of Defense as well, that we are bringing to bear all the resources of our department, of our Navy, to fix this problem. Throughout the four-hour discussion, more than 3,700 comments flooded the base's online live stream. Outstanding questions and concerns were met with detailed answers, again, specifying available resources, as well as proactive guidance and clarity as to the public health recommendations outlined by the Hawaii Department of Health and on-base specialists. Concluding words of reassurance and continued efforts to bolster transparency and services left a mixed crowd. The Navy promising continued updates as well as new test results throughout the coming days. I think of the restoration plan, everybody's eager to get after this very quickly and get a solution fast. Fast is important, but doing it accurately is even more important. Aaron Coogan, KITV4, Island News. Now, the Joint Base Commander initially told families the water was safe to drink. Captain Eric Spitzer posted on Facebook today he's sorry for telling people last Sunday that initial test indicated no detection of contamination. In his words, he said, I said my staff and I were drinking the water. That was not a cover. We were. We truly thought the testing results indicated the water was safe to drink. We were wrong. I apologize with my whole heart that we trusted those initial tests.